Hi folks, um, I'm going to make up a scene now. Uh, woodland, bit of rough ground, bit of water maybe. So I'll wet the paper all over. This is a bit of Fabriana, £130 cheap per studio paper, which I used for some years. I've got a few sheets for left. I'm just debating whether to buy more of it or stay with the, uh, the lovely lighter weights the uh, Windsor and Newton or Saunders rough or cold pressed 90 pound papers which are superb uh, right let that grow a little bit palette well there's my palette there's a uh, cadmium yellow cadmium yellow pale which I don't like raw sienna lizard and crimson light red ultramarine burnt umber Payne's grey and burnt sienna right we'll put a bit of a I don't know. Mm. Well, we'll put a bit of a bit of sky in anyway. Bit of bit of this and bit of that, bit of red. We'll make sure you you dissolve your paints. In. Okay, a bit of, bit of blue for that. I'm going to cover up a lot of this. We don't need to be to put too much detail in. Put a bit of that in there. Now you can play about with the paper to a certain extent, but with the cheaper papers, it's best to put your quick wash in and then dry it or leave it to dry. If you want to carry on with the painting, which I do, I'll reclip it. No need to stretch papers. You can, unless you want to, of course, it's a bit time consuming. But th this way, the paper stays quite flat. If you do it two or three times, just work around the edges. Just put it nice and tight. Just set that up there a little bit, put a wrinkle out there. So that's completely flat. So take your head, take your headphones off or mute your sound or fast forward through this bit. Because when I wave it it means I'm drying it. Okay, so I've fixed it now, so that won't move. It's still a little bit damp, but I'm going to put in a bit of a uh, bit of distance, bit of uh, let's have a, a bit of yellow, a uh, bit of raw sienna, a bit of burnt sienna. Okay, bit of, bit, of, bit of blue with that, I think. Got some really good, rich, darks, greens in here. Shadow in there, put a couple of rocks in there for but you need to have some dark paint underneath to do that. Okay, let that dry a little bit. Some really good rich darks in there now. The greens.
try not to get both sides sort of symmetrical. You want all you put on one side, you double the repeat on the other. So there we are. Nice bit of warm in there. When that's drying there, while oh, it's drying, I can sort of work in some of this just a little bit. Do not want to do too much? A little goes a long way with with this technique, and I've overused it as much as anybody. In the past. It's, it's very easy to do it on this paper. But not so easy on the quality papers and the rough papers that are quite absorbent. This paper, the, the paint tends to stay on the surface rather than soak in. That's why you can do this, this effect quite easily. My friend Joe Menzer sees me doing this, he'll have a fit because I always told him off about it. Joe, Joe Menza, M-E-N-Z-A, he's got a channel on uh, YouTube these days. He was with me on Patreon for quite some time and he's gone his own way now, which is great. All right, let's put a bit, bit, bit of blue in, in this background here. It's just a bit of recession. Okay, hard. Just take a little bit of that out. It's probably a bit too much out there. Alright, anyway, we go over that. Put a bit of dark in there. Right, dry. Then we'll carry on, we'll put, put some trees in and just a quick impression. Right, the headphones off, mute your sound, go. I'll use the small hake now, the medium hake. I'll put in a, some scrubby stuff, some some nice rich greens, burnt sienna, yellow, blue, Payne's grey, and a bit of red in there. Oh, it's too strong. The light red is, they call it light red, it's, it's, there's nothing light about it. It's a, it's a very, very rich, saturated colour. For a student quality paint it's uh, second to none but you've got to be careful with it. It does tend to obliterate everything else. It's, it's, it's opaque but strong. It mixes with ultramarine great for for your skies, clouds, trunks, anything where you want a shadowy colour. I'll do a bit of rigor work on that. Oh, you can do lovely things with hake. It all gives an impressionistic sort of feel it's there but it's not you know it, it's just a lovely 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 thing to use but all the hakes all right well i'll start off with this other one here coming up here i will use a rigger just to do some side branches and stuff i can't really do with the hake.
the only second water colour I've done since I think last Tuesday when I did a, a demonstration for a local women's town, Towns Women's Guild. Oh, the, the shadow coming across here. Right, I do. Too much of that. A bit of rigor work. Oops, a bit of rigor work now. And I did a couple of acrylics. Last, last Saturday week, I saw one, one's going to Canada. Posted it this morning. So I'm quite uh, delighted about that. So, all helps, all pays for material. I'm going to put some leafage over those. See, the, the, the rigor is it's a totally different different stroke. You see, and there's a mixed technique which is always good. I'll put a bit of ivy on that. I think if you don't mind. All right, uh, have some autumn leaves on there. I think. Oh, some ivy. I was going to put ivy, wasn't I? on there. Nothing too elaborate, just keep it all nice and fresh and, and, and don't overwork these things. A bit of paint is great, you can just make a bit of shadow and under here. And do the same over the other side. It's a bit of burnt sienna, a raw sienna. Bit of paint. Just try to keep that or that ivy going up here and to separate it from the actual leaves. Oh, I don't think we could afford to put another tree in there. Too much going out of the picture, but uh, we need some ivy around here. Okay, that do. I'll sign it and put a, a, a bird in. Yeah. Put a mount on it. I'll photograph it and I'll get it on there. Upload it to YouTube. Uh, right, so. Bit of tape. Not big enough that one. Put my thirties one on. Uh, I keep promising myself to to go and get a bit of mount card and 
Well, that's a nice colour, that. Well, off white. Sorry about the state of it. But there we are. So we've got a got a nice water scene. Well, I don't know that nice. Oh, well, there we are. So that didn't take long. That was ooh, fifteen minutes, fifteen and a half minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye bye.